The next step to organizing your Google life is bookmarks and how to deal with them. So of course, another reason why uh, people often are not organized is they don't have bookmarks uh, right where they can easily get to them. One thing that I've done is made bookmarks as icons. So here's an example of that. You'll notice that uh, I have these tiny little buttons. Um, these are all bookmarks that you would normally find by going under the three dotted button and go to bookmarks. I've shortened the names of all of mine. I also have folders that I put them in as well. And what you can do is uh, take those long winded or very long titled icons and make them into little buttons. Uh, I call it bookmarks as icons, but each one of these is what we call a favicon. Uh, the icon that matches that particular website is called a favicon. And uh, some of these you may recognize like the F for Facebook. That's a really well-known one. This little monkey is MailChimp. Um, Kit and I use that for newsletters that we've done. Um, the Google Drive icon is another one that everybody recognizes. This is our district website. Uh, and the P is for professional development. Uh, that would be our uh, PDMS. So for any of these, of course, this is the Amazon one. Everybody knows that one as well. So to make these into little tiny buttons that are clickable, all you have to do is right click on the name of the bookmark, then go down and click edit, and then remove the title so that all you have left is the button, or in this case, the favicon. Click save, and it takes up so much less room on your bookmark bar. So that's all you have to do in that case, as long as it's an icon that you recognize. If it's not one that you recognize, and here's an example, I have EO. I know that's employee online. So that works for me, I just call it EO. But originally it said employee online and it had a really long title. So right click, go to edit, and shorten it to whatever works for you. A one word title would be preferable. Um, if you know the icon, get rid of everything and just have it a blank box. And then when you're done, click save. And you've got your buttons whipped into shape right up here on your bookmark bar. Uh, to take that a step further, you can create folders and put all of these buttons into a folder. And to do that, you would right click on any of your bookmark bar buttons, come down and click add folder. Okay, and then make sure that it goes into your bookmarks bar. And uh, I called it education. And click save. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, there's the education folder. Now, if I wanted to put all of these into the education folder, I could take them and just drag them into that folder and let go. You see how it says empty right now? Let go. And maybe I wanna add this one. And I might want to add this one and this one. Okay, so I've got all those inside of a folder now. I click on that folder at any point and I have a drop down list that I can quickly get to. So it's another way of getting those bookmarks whipped into shape so that they're easy to get to, in this case, from a drop-down folder. Uh, just another one. This is one where I take several topics, put a slash mark after each one, and then I get them all into the same folder. So I have folders inside of folders. Curriculum Instructional Services Ed Tech, all one place, all one thing. And then inside that folder, I have subfolders for different categories, and I drag those uh, bookmarks into those categories. So just another way to organize your bookmarks.